So we're in pins and submissions month, and what we're gonna start class with today is actually attacking uh, or sort of breaking down the turtle position. Okay? Now turtle, I, there, there are certainly some submissions I can go for from turtle, but my experience is if I don't get in on the collar by the time he's balled up, like before that, it's really hard to dig it in there um, with any sort of high percentage. Okay? Um, so if I find myself in a position where he's already down and he's in really tight, it's like, man, me trying to submit his arm or his neck from here is going to be really, really quite difficult. Okay? Um, now, one, uh, one distinction that I think is worth going over is this of what, an open turtle versus a closed turtle. In jiu-jitsu, we almost only see a closed turtle, which is what Shamir just demonstrated, where he's in really tight. Go ahead and do it one more time. And he's trying to make it hard for me to get in to these spaces, okay? What an open turtle often is is something you see in a sport that you can win by pin, okay? Where somebody's basing out more, creating a wider base because they don't want to get turned over. So jujitsu is actually one of the only sports that you cannot win by pin. Uh, judo you can win by pin. Sambo you can get points by pin. Of course, wrestling, that's the whole point, is try to pin them. So you sometimes see people go wider so that they don't, um, don't get turned over. We don't see that a lot in jujitsu. What I'm gonna show works really well in jujitsu because most people play in really tight. It might not work as well against the more like, like wide based out sort of a thing. But we just don't see that a lot, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna play the odds and play that most people are gonna be in this, this tighter position. If somebody was like this, now I can hunt their arms and neck effectively because there's enough space to do it. If they're in like Shamir was, it's hard to get in there, okay? So, Shamir, can you face the group here and uh, just sit on your knees like you are? What I'm gonna be doing, it'll be hard for you to see because it's gonna be not a lot of uh, room, but I'm gonna be reaching underneath and grabbing his lapel at his belly button, okay? Grab low here, don't grab high. Even if you can reach it, don't grab up here. We're gonna grab just barely above his belt, okay? Um, and I'm grabbing the lapel on the far side. So when he's down, I've got the farther lapel. If you come back up, if I have the near lapel, this is not gonna work. So you do need to make sure you have the correct one. If you need to, feel free to start high because I can feel, oh, it's the far one, and then slide down. That's okay, but whenever I'm ready to go, it's gotta be down here. Okay, so we're in there, and usually I can punch in at least one arm from there. And I'm playing back on his hip when I'm doing this, okay? So I'm playing back on his hip. What I'm gonna do from here is hop up to my feet, and I'm gonna hop to the other hip. I'm gonna hop up to here, okay? From here, now I'm in a good position where I can just pull him back and go to a knee on belly. When I grab the correct lapel, the lapel pulls across his ribs, and it pulls really taut and pulls him over. If I were to have tried that with the other one, I would just pull the lapel wide open and I would never have any success with this, okay? So, one more time. So, he's in really tight. I can't get to his neck or his arms. I'm gonna grab that far lapel by his belly button. This other hand, I usually keep by his hip. Sometimes I'll go get the scruff of the neck here by the collar, that can work also. And I'm gonna hop to this side and I'm gonna drag him back and I'm gonna land in like a knee on belly type of position. From knee on belly, I can stay here and attack or I can just come down and go into a pin, okay? The biggest safety point of this one, because you, you certainly could hurt your partner unintentionally with this and I wanna make sure we don't do it. The, there's a very safe angle to roll them over that's gonna to be totally safe on their knees and have no, no risk of injury. There's also angles where I could potentially really hurt my partner's knees, so we need to talk about that. So what I need to look for is the angle of his shin, and I am trying to pull him perpendicular to his shin. So if he goes down, right now I'm perpendicular to his shin, and I should be able to pull him over very easily, the hip and knee turn that way very easily, and his body's just not going into a dangerous place. If I don't hop far enough, then I could potentially pull him more straight backwards, and that is a position I don't want to put my partner's knees into, okay? I would not want my knees to have that done on them. I don't want anybody in class to have that done on, on their knees from there. But if you think about it, wherever your line of your shin is, falling to your butt from there is really easy, 
Okay? So what you need to kind of keep an eye on is some people play with their knees really wide, and some people play with them really narrow, and some people play in between. So for each partner, you might have to hop to a little bit of a different spot. Somebody who plays really narrow, I have to hop very far to get perpendicular. Somebody who plays really wide with their knees, I actually have to hop less to get to that perpendicular spot on their shin. Okay? So pretty simple, but that detail is very critical to this. Any questions on it? Do you see? Okay, uh, Aaron, do you mind? Okay, so again, if you just go on your knees and you face the group, okay, uh, just up so we can see the grip. So if I were to try it with this, I would just open this and I would never be able to actually rotate her over. So getting the cross one, and I get in the cross one here, this is really good. And I wanna grab, I'm trying to turn her hips over, so I'm making my grip low so it's close to her hips. If I'm up high, I don't have control of her hips. Okay, so I'm trying to get this grip here. So once we're down there, I can potentially grab the scruff of the neck. This, this is a grip that uh, can be pretty helpful for it. And I'm gonna jump, and you see how Erin's knee angle is a little different than Shamir. She just, that's where her body is comfortable. But I should now be able to pull her right to me and I get her down to her hip really quite easily. And I want you to keep pulling until you get them mostly pretty flat, okay? Now in a match, I might need to start with this grip and then readjust as I go. So I might have something like this. I hop up, I pull over, and now as she's fighting to go back to turtle, I might have to grab her arm to not let her elbow get to the mat or something like that. But this should get them most of the way broken down from right here, okay? Is that good? Okay, any other questions? All right, let's try it out. One, two, three.